Hello YouTube viewers. Today I'm going to be doing a basic tutorial on a, how to fill out a driver's daily logbook. Now this is just an example for those drivers who start and finish their day from their house. Now first off, we're going to go and write the date, the name of the company, the address of the company. Now if the terminal is the same as the office, just go ahead and write down same. Your signature and you have a co-driver, go ahead and write their name down. Now in this one section, now these are examples. Let's say my tractor is number 01 and my trailer is W156. That's what I'll be writing down. Now under total mileage today, that's where your odometer reads at the beginning of the day. Which in the, as an example, I'm going to put the my odometer reads 300. On this bottom section, you're going to write the bill of lading or manifest number that you're hauling. Now, as an example, I'm going to start my day off at Dallas, Texas. Now let's say you were off Saturday and Sunday, today is Monday, which I know is not the 28th, but just an example. Now today being Monday, you start your day off at 6 a.m. So I go down and write down my starting point, which is Dallas, Texas, pre-trip. Or you could write PTI, it's totally fine. And I do my 15 minute inspection. Then I drive for four hours till I get down to Houston, where I'm actually unloading the what I brought down from Dallas. It takes them one hour to unload the truck. I go back up. I drive for 45 minutes to another point here in Houston where I'm picking, the, picking up a load. Now let's say it takes them another hour to load the trailer. Then I go ahead and drive for 30 minutes to another location here in Houston, Texas to take my 30 minute break. Now at this point, you will notice that with the combination of driving and non-duty not driving, I am only a seven and a half hours instead of eight, which is totally fine. You don't have to necessarily take your break right at the eight marker point. So right here I did it when I hit my seven and a half hours, my 30 minute break. I came back down, I drove for 15 minutes and I went to a fuel stop down in Houston, Texas where for 30 minutes I filled up, go back up to driving, drive for four hours back to Dallas, Texas. And I did a post trip inspection for 15 minutes and I just go up and then my day on off duty. Now, all these combined together, my off duty will add up to 11 and a half hours, which some drivers like to put 11.5, which is totally fine, but I'll do, I like to do fractions, so I would do it 11 and a half. I have nothing under sleeper bird, so I put zero for my driving adds up to nine and a half for my on duty not driving adds up to three hours all these numbers combined should always equal 24 hours now for driving and on duty not driving it equals 12 and a half hours now this is where it starts to get a little interesting whether you're a driver who's out eight days or you're a driver who's out seven days you gotta choose whichever one that you call your Whatever you fall under, whatever category you fall under. So, as an example, I'm just gonna go ahead and do the eight day drivers. On A and C, it'll ask you the amount of hours you've been working for the last seven days. C will ask you the last eight days. But since this is Monday, the beginning of the week, we've only been working, driving and non duty, not driving for 12 and a half hours. So, you're gonna write that under A and C. And now on part B, what you gotta do, you gotta subtract the hours that you worked minus 70, which equals 57 and a half in my case. On this bottom part, I'll put that I started in Dallas, Texas, and I drove to Houston, Texas. And then the second, I picked up a load in Houston, Texas, and I drove back to Dallas, Texas. And that will be my second bill of lading number. So that's a real basic as far as the front part of the driver's daily log. Now in this section right here, I'm going to say that I drove throughout this time, the nine and a half hours I was driving, I drove for 550 miles. So that's what I put the amount of miles that I drove today. On the back section, on the vehicle inspection report, of course the date, the truck number. Now, firstly, 
I put the time that I actually start my post trip inspection, which I started at 6:45 p.m. The end of my odometer reads 850 miles. I'm just going across everything off. I should just write a line under it. You could either do that, or you could just individually check one off in the boxes. Your choice. I don't have tire chain, so I scratch that off. My trailer number, scratch, write a line through everything in the bottom as well. Everything was fine, so I put condition of the vehicle was good, and your signature at the end of the day. So, this is the basic tutorial. Of, 